Hi there, Aaron here from Checkfront. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use aliasing in your Checkfront account uh, to connect two items together. So for this one, I'm going to be using a renting bike and also a bike tour. So a bike tour would need some bikes, uh, but it will have to share with the bike rentals in that way. So how do we take inventory from the bike rentals uh, and putting it into the bike tour? So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's go ahead and go to inventory items. And we're going to take a look at our tours first. So there's Checkies tours here. And we're going to go straight to the attributes tab. So we're going to take a look at it from the bottom here. We'll just open it up real quick. There we go. We're going to go straight down. And as you can see here, we have an option called alias two. So that's what I have right now. I have the Checkies bike for rent alias to it. So in order to alias, you're going to have to search the item. So any, any uh, word, keyword for that item that you're looking for should help out with searching it. So as you can see here, I can find that just like that. And then you save. So in order to test this, I'm going to make a bookie. And then we're going to take a look at the calendar inventory to make sure that we removed uh, availability from both items, the tour and the rentals. So there we go. There's the bike tour. Let's book this bike tour. So there we go, Chucky. And we're going to be booking it. OK, so we've made a booking. Let's take a look at your inventory. OK, so as you can see there, for Jackie's bike tour, I have removed one for the 16th. But as you can see as well, on Jackie's bike for rent, there is also one removed from there. So if you take a look at Jackie's bike for rent, you'll see that it involves the booking that we just created for the bike tour. And it even tells us there that it was made using the Jackie's bike tour. And that's pretty much it for aliasing. If you do have any further questions, just let us know or feel free to contact us at support at checkfront.com. Thank you so much. Have a good one.